Hi, and welcome to another Typo Light screencast from Winans Creative. Um, usually, uh, one of these tutorials that gets overlooked is for people who are, this is the first time that they've kind of jumped into Typo Light and they really have no idea where to start. So, this screencast is meant to really be for those types of people who are just looking to uh, get in and uh, just figure out what's going on in the system. Um, it, it's not that complicated uh, once you really kind of start to understand some of the concepts behind it and hopefully this will address that. Um, so let's say that you've got your type of light installation up and running, you logged into the back end and now you're wondering where do I start? Well, uh, you can see here uh, in the back end administration we have kind of this uh, three essential areas. We have this header bar here. Um, this will give some details just, you know, uh, about you as a, lo a logged in user. Uh, we have this front end preview uh, button that can be used anywhere on the site when you click on that. Essentially it's going to give you a front end look at the website and you can choose to hide and show uh, unpublished and unpublished elements here uh, in the front end uh, before they go live. Uh, you have a little home button that takes you back to this main screen that is the landing screen and you have a logout button pretty straightforward. Uh, along the left hand side is the, the primary navigation for Typo Light. This is where essentially everything gets accessed here uh, and it's broken down into basic sections that essentially give you a little bit of idea of, of what the type of thing it is you're working with whether it's content, uh, layout types of elements, uh, account management types of uh, uh, functions here or system functions. Um, and uh, when it, you click on any one of these, uh, this is kind of the main viewing window that will essentially give you the, uh, let you perform the tasks for any one of these given modules. Um, so what you see right now is just kind of a brief overview of Typo Light and, and what all these extensions essentially are. Um, it kind of gives you a nice little list with a brief description of here's what these things are and what they can do along with a, a little shortcut to each. Um, so you can see that uh, essentially you know you have most of your editing is going to take place in the content section. Um, there's uh, basically uh, when you want to edit any sort of content on the website that's usually going to happen within there. Uh, the most frequently ac accessed one is the article section and what you see here is essentially a duplicate of what exists under layout in the site structure. This is site structure is where pages, kind of these virtual content management based pages get created and uh, it, it, this is essential for setting up a, your vision for the site map of your website. Um, I would actually suggest that if you know, th this is the first time that you're visiting a Typo Light based administration that you check out the site structure so that you know what you're really dealing with in terms of the, the pages on the site. Um, you can see here Typo Light also has the ability to host multiple web routes or individual domains and we're actually taking advantage of that in this case. Um, but what you'll really just see is kind of a tree menu here where that you can open and f unfold to show the kind of navigation of your uh, entire website and some people may set that up in a couple different ways and kind of group these uh, navigation elements into their own kind of folders uh, and, and pseudo pages that kind of keep things organized. Um, but for the most part it's going to be kind of like a, a very straightforward list of here's the pages, here's uh, a page that happens to be underneath one of those pages, um, and then we're presented with some basic icons here for editing. And these icons are the same throughout Typo Light. That's one of the great things about Typo Light is that it's, uh, the, the user interface is pretty easy to figure out once you understand what these basic icons do. Because uh, they're essentially available across all of these different modules and they all do the same function. Uh, the pencil here is always going to be edit. The green plus sign is always going to be copy or duplicate. Uh, the plus sign with a little down arrow here, I'm not sure how visible that is, but uh, that basically allows you to duplicate with sub-pages or with sub-elements. So say you had a tree menu such as this and um, you wanted to duplicate the home and news page as well, you could be able to duplicate it, both of them instead of each one individually and keep that structure. Um, blue arrow is move. 
the red X is pretty straightforward. That's delete. When you click on that, Type of Light confirms that you want to actually do that. Uh, the, in Type of Light 2.8, we have this uh, green eyeball, which is publish and unpublish, and that's uh, triggered by Ajax. So you can see that that kind of dims uh, the icons here uh, when an element is, in fact, unpublished. We have info, which shows some uh, list in the list format the basic details of the element we're working with. And we have just a quick jump to this is available um, on some uh, editing modes here. Uh, jump to the uh, articles of that individual page ID, uh, which means that it jumps to the editable blocks for that page. And, and that's something that uh, you know is a consistent icon throughout the website. Um, up here, we have some basic functions as well. New page, toggle all nodes. If we click toggle all nodes, it'll open or close, in this case, uh, all the trees that we've set up here. So let's re-toggle those and get those all closed up. Um, and then something that's uh, pretty really neat on, on Typo Light, the, the edit multiple function. You can essentially uh, edit multiple records all at the same time and choose things like be the ability to delete, move, uh, copy those elements, uh, edit them, which is uh, editing each one individually, or then using the new 2.8 override, which allows you to enter one value that then gets populated across all those different elements, um, which is pretty, uh, pretty great. Let's cancel that by going back. Um, and the only other real concept to be aware of, uh, at least at this stage, is uh, when you are doing things like copying or moving or adding a new page in, in this instance, um, essentially Typo Lite needs to know where or what you want to do with that element, uh, that new element or that copied element. Uh, or that element that you want to move. So what it does is it puts it on a kind of a virtual clipboard here. Uh, and when that happens, it presents you with these blinking clipboards. Um, they're very faintly blinking. Some people just often don't catch that in their browser. But um, you can see here there's two versions, one pointing down. And if you hold your mouse on that, it'll say paste after. Uh, and one pointing to the right, which is uh, paste into. And that's pretty straightforward when you're dealing with a situation like this. Um, paste after will make it the next item after uh, an individual element that you click on. Uh, and pasting it into will make it an internal page, such as we've done here with this news page, uh, and, and make it kind of a child uh, and make that, parent, uh, that other page the parent uh, of that page. You can see here if I paste it, uh, a new page into the home page here, I'm gonna write a new page. And we're going to save and close. You can see I've now made that a sub page of the home page. Um, so that's Typo Light Basics in a nutshell. Like I said, if you can find these icons in different sections here, um, you can see here I just clicked over to Articles and we're presented with the same ones. And you can see it's, it's basically the same as our site structure, only uh, these are the blocks of editable content on a page. You're going to see these same icons, the same basic edit multiple, toggle all nodes, or new uh, whatever it is you happen to be working with. Um, uh, and even going further into those, you'll see what we have the same basic icons here as well and uh, the, the same basic functions. I want to create a new element. There's my blinking clipboard here to ask me where I want to do with that. Um, so if you can just handle those in the terms of the basics, you can pretty much navigate your way through Typo Lite without much trouble. Um, Hope you have found this at least informative and feel free to browse on to some of our other screencasts as you want to get more in-depth with Typo Lite and its uh, great flexible functionality.